physical exercise physical exercise is also very important to maintain proper health so that the age of adolescence the adolescents they can go out and play outdoor games which gives physical exercise so by that their muscles and bones and everything will be very active so it will help their body to increase the metabolism their growth rate so by that they may they can show the maximum growth during that period whatever the nutrients that are taken in their bodies will be properly assimilated used up in building their bodies so their body parts will grow in a proper manner and they will attain the complete uh, functionality so even though they have any problems or abnormalities in their hormonal systems so their body metabolism will be activated by physical exercise it is very important so that can help them to maintain tone a body tone so good amount of muscle muscle mass they get good posture so that is all maintained by physical health if physical health is not there if physical uh, exercise is not there so they may be subjected to stress we already discussed that the children who are in adolescent stage they have some stress mental stress frustrations so because of the frustrations may ne- they may not be able to sleep well sleep properly but if they take the physical exercise because of the physical exercise what happens to the body after doing a lot of physical exercise if we rest you will get a sound sleep so the physical exercise it gives sound sleep so when you have sound sleep physical exercise it gives sound sleep you will forget all worries all stress and everything you will get mental peace mental peace so mental peace is achieved by physical exercise so it is very important both for boys and girls so they get relaxed so this is the right way of relaxing playing getting tired and eating nutritious food and sleeping getting mental peace is the right way of relaxation so there is no other way of relaxations sometimes the children who are in the adolescent stage are misguided by their friends mischievous people so that if you consume this they uh, if you consume this drug you will get relaxed uh, if you take this uh, smoking you will get relaxed those are all the false uh, false notations false ideas so that relaxation is not the real relaxation which may fall you in trouble and which damages your health at a very early stage so your body parts are under the developmental process they should not be polluted or contaminated by the different toxins by taking a, a cigarette or other kind of uh, things or drugs they damage your systems they damage your mental growth so they damage your uh, everything so a lot of damage happens to you completely you physically and emotionally socially in every aspect those things disturb us so that relaxation is not true the true relaxation is by de- doing the physical exercise taking a balanced diet maintaining a new uh, cleanliness and then it le- gives a sound sleep and mental peace physical and mental development will be in a very uh, right standard or at right level by following this so instead of uh, playing outdoor games or physical games we see some people are engaged in playing computer games these days playing with a computer so it may not uh, give you the complete exercise to your bones and muscles so you may get posture problems so you you may not be able to have a good posture so it may lead to back pain problems sometimes by the sedentary just the sitting and playing and eating junk food leads to obesity heart problems so these are all caused because of that lack of physical exercise so you uh, lose the complete activeness in your body due to the lack of physical exercise so the physical exercise at adolescent stage it gives the real strength perfect tone to the body and uh, which you can maintain throughout your life so it is uh, very important for the adolescents to understand what kind of changes physical as well as emotional changes takes place in their bodies during the period of adolescence otherwise even though the adolescents if they know what is good and what is bad if they know the difference even though they know the difference their inclination will be towards what is attracting so what is good what is bad what is attractive so out of these three options 
adolescents always move towards the one which is attractive sometimes the attractive one may be bad also see somebody is some of the peer member one of the friends are going for some bad activities or bad habits they are practicing so if it is attracting the other other, other child even though he know that it is bad he is in he is inclined towards that so that means that he should understand it is because of the attraction in that age so by that he should use his discriminate power that he should understand if he is attracted for such thing he may fall in troubles or problems so let us see some points by understanding which uh, you may not fall in troubles in future so you need to understand certain points that means uh, your behavior is affected by the age adolescence if you overcome that you can be saved from many problems so among that the first one is body conscious many of the children who enter this adolescent age they become they uh, conscious about their beauty that is dressing their hair and applying makeup so by that they want to appear in a beautiful way presentation of, the, of themselves and they also basically have an attraction towards the opposite sex so that is a normal uh, character that is developed during the adolescence and uh, it need not be worried about that attraction so they have a jealous mind that means they have so many questions or queries in their mind adolescents they wanted to know different things clarify their uh, questions to get answers so if their questions are not answered they get frustrated they are very emotional their emotions are very high during the adolescent stage sometimes uh, they are uh, take consider the emotions of others also like their friends so they fight for the emotions of others so they become uh, they act so sensitive at the age of adolescence and they also become self conscious that means they think that they are independent they'll have their own ideas independent ideas they wanted to uh, be independent uh, they wanted they look for their own freedom of taking decisions and making choices instead of uh, listening to the instructions of the parents they wanted to be more independent and sometimes we see that they feel insecure insecure while adjusting to the changes that takes place in their bodies during their adolescence so they look for some kind of uh, support so they'll be uh, guessing that support they'll be expecting the support from their friends so they share their feelings with their friends they wanted to share their feelings and they wanted to uh, share their feelings even with uh, the friends of opposite sex so that kind of uh, behavior is also seen in adolescents so they need to be counseled sometimes they feel insecure that they are alone nobody is caring for their problems so they should understand this is all common that is at the age of adolescence that is all common so they can be friendly and open with the parents even the parents can discuss or counsel the children talk to the children knowing their problems they can be very open in telling whatever the doubts may be that they are uh, suffering from that they are frustrating so they can get answers even from the parents or any other adults they can counsel and clarify the doubts so about the changes emotional changes or physical changes in this adolescent stage are should be understood either by the parents and also by the children so by that they can overcome these problems sometimes because of uh, these problems if the problems uh, are not properly handled the children may be frustrated and they undergo some kind of depression and uh, uh, their behavior uh, patterns will be totally changed sometimes they may be getting addicted to a certain kind of bad habits so that uh, they go towards the things that they attract so they wanted to spend more time with their friends because they find answers to the questions to their questions at their friends they are not asking to the parents even parents are not asking questions to the children so why why are you like this what is happening why are you depressed why are you sad so the child also must be ready to answer open up his problems to the parents even though the parents ask so the child must be open if parent is not asking child is not answering what happens the child he goes to the friends he opens his problems they will clarify their own doubts uh, their own answers 
they may tell uh, it is uh, correct sometimes they may go wrong they may mislead because they are also children they don't know exactly so they may misguide so they may give wrong ideas wrong suggestions may fall in wrong track say somebody is asking a boy is interested he wanted to uh, follow a bad activity chewing tobacco or using a tobacco product he asked his friend that friend may not know the bad effects of it he says that okay we'll get joy come on let us enjoy so that it takes to very wrong track so the boy asks the father i uh, i'm getting an interest like this the father will clarify it is not correct interest if you fall into that interest you will face these problems in your life in your future so the father, father will clarify the doubts so it is necessary for these adolescents to speak to their parents or teachers about their problems whether physical or emotional and it is the role of parents and teachers teachers to counsel the adolescents ask for their problems and rectify or clarify all their doubts so by that the children can easily pass this adolescent stage and they can be grown into a responsible citizens responsible adults